Hey, this is Dieter Bone of The Verge, and we're here at Google I.O. taking a look at the new maps. It's completely redone, it goes full screen, and uh, it's all written in this WebGL technology, which means that it's uh, super fast and can feel like a native app, and they're using vectors instead of tiles. But all that nerdery aside, what's really amazing here is they've done a really good job with just making the, the map look cleaner. They switched to a Roboto font and they've added you know, all these little icons. And interesting things happen when you tap on them. So I tapped on this one. The roads I might actually want to use stay highlighted and everything else kind of gets dimmed out because I'm probably not going to want to go on those routes. Um, you can see also when I tapped on it, there's an information card here that lets us jump right into Street View. There's a cool little zoom in animation there. And we can look around in Street View. We can hop back out of Street View, look at photos, and you can you got photos inside the thing. And of course, you can get directions. So if we t tap on get directions, we can uh, say we want to get there from, say, San Jose. Select that. And it not only gives us our driving directions, but it also shows right next to it uh, transit directions. So you can choose which way you want to do it. And if you do something crazy, like if we go from San Jose to, say, Los Angeles, it will also give you driving directions, uh, but it'll also show you uh, f that flying is faster than driving, and maybe you want to do that, which is pretty slick. And there's also some actually super cool transit directions here. So say we want to get to the Randall Museum, and say we want to get there from this uh, fake home that we've got here, which is Mountain View. And say we select the transit information, you can see that they've simplified how it displays the transit information, so you can see it leaves every 60 minutes instead of having only getting what the next train's going to be. And then you can click on the departure to open up this really detailed view that shows you all the different routes, how often you have to walk, when you have to change trains, and you can just, you know, scroll through to see a bunch of them, and then they've give you the full explanation of how the transit stuff works at the bottom. The other thing that's incredibly cool with this is they have integrated Google Earth completely. So in addition to your tr more traditional satellite view where you can go in, once you zoom in close enough, you uh, kind of switch over to a classic Google Earth move. So it's very fast, it feels very fluid, and uh, they've, all, they've just added a whole lot of nice features to make the map more usable, but also some whiz-bang features. We're now looking at the planet. <laughs> These clouds that are on the planet are rendered uh, in real time. This is what the clouds actually look like on the Earth right now. And if we zoom out a little bit further, we can see the stars in the background. Those stars are in their accurate position, as is the sun, which is pretty cool. All this is done directly in the web browser, no third-party apps to add on. Uh, it's going to be compatible with uh, Chrome, uh, Safari, with I think you need to, to get WebGL support and it should be available in Firefox as well with IE uh, 11 coming soon. So if you want to try the new maps on desktop, you just need to go to maps.google.com slash preview and punch in your email address to sign up. It's still a preview. It's not even really a beta product yet, so there's going to be bugs, and Google is looking for your feedback. But it's definitely worth checking out because it's pretty cool.